Welcome to Trill Theater with your host, B Shack. Welcome to Trill Theater with your host, B Shack. Welcome to Trill Theater with your host, B Shack. Welcome. I, I know the joke is kind of predictable. Yeah, I know. But I feel like I had to do it, right? No, I'm not corny for doing a joke. I'm not. What? Just roll the intro. Welcome to Trill Theater. For real this time, with your host, B Shack, a.k.a. Damn. And today, I'm discussing Happy Death Day which is in theaters now, I think it's rated PG-13. For those who don't know, Happy Death Day is about a young lady, college student, who is basically reliving her birthday and her death day in the same day. It's what I would like to think of as the horror equivalent of Groundhog Day, if it wasn't funny and didn't have the great Bill Murray in it. So when I first heard it and saw the, the preview for the film, I was excited for it because I thought, this is an interesting premise. I just thought that the idea of someone dying continuously in a manner that was in a horror type version of of Groundhog Day would be something interesting to watch. What I got was more of a eh. That's what I left leaving the filler. It wasn't bad, but it was like what I would say was a like divergent or Maze Runner, one of those like kind of teen uh, versions of something. So it was like an interesting premise. It was an interesting idea of this concept of reliving the whole day you get killed over and over again until you figure out the death of it. But it was kind of executed in the same manner of a one of those teenage love story kind of action movies where you like sit through and you're like this. Am I really entertained? I don't know. I'm kind of entertained but not really so that's why I left the, I left the theater with an eh like did I hate it no did I love it no uh, did I like it somewhat I mean it's not something I can suggest to you heavily I thought that after a while I guessed what the whole story was going to end with but I, I'm, I'm the exception because I do that a lot it's just something I do it's a gift I have I can't help it it's, it's my gift uh, but I just thought that after a while I just kind of guessed what was going to happen it got kind of quirky there too for a second, which was weird because I just don't see if you were living your death day. You, I mean, I guess you could think maybe your sanity will break eventually, but you don't know if, if this is going to be your last chance, last time dying. This could be your last one. So I don't, I didn't get where it got all of a sudden kind of quirky there. I was like, hmm. it's not really bothersome, but it's kind of like weird that it's all of a sudden got quirky. It was horror and scary thriller like vibes and all of a sudden went hey let's go let's make a left right here quirky lane and go there for a little bit and then go back to being a horror film or a mystery whodunit type movie so can i suggest it no um it's like one of those films where i feel like yo if i was up late at night or i just came back from a party and it was on tv and i was waiting for that uh are you up text <laughs> uh i wouldn't mind watching it then but like would i selectively like put that to choose no nah. But anyway, what are you guys' thoughts? Did you see Happy Death Day? Do you plan to go see it? Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe, comment. I respond to all comments. Um, feel free to hit me on any of my other social media networks as well. That's a uh, damn look at him across the board. Damn look at him Twitter. Damn look at him IG. Damn look at him Snapchat. And Facebook is damn look at him TV. Always here to vibe out with you guys. And as always, be kind to one another and be easy. Peace. I see you at the movies. I did like the nod that they did to Groundhog Day. It was it was it was decent. Like I get it, cause I mean, like I don't know what's the last movie Bill Murray was in, but I doubt a lot of kids are growing up watching Bill Murray like or watching Groundhog Day the movie itself, cause I mean, like that was like a staple. Like it was like a, it's a classic to me. Like I don't see any movie. Like Groundhog Day, What About Bob are the movies that really just made Bill Murray a legend to me because I grew up watching those and laughing with them. So I did appreciate that little tip of hat to 
uh, the movie itself, Groundhog Day. So be on the lookout for that. It was, it was, it's, it's, it's the respect he deserved. <laughs>